After recognizing two rebel-held territories in eastern Ukraine as separate republics, Russian President Vladimir Putin has sent soldiers entering Ukraine. Video circulated overnight purported to reveal Russian military trucks approaching the Ukrainian border. Welcome to Next News Hour. If you're new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell. Russia stated that the military will be peacekeeping in the separatist territories and that it has supported since 2014. The US, on the other hand, dismissed the term peacekeepers as nonsense. It charged Russia with inventing a reason to go to war. Ukraine's president declared that the country is not afraid of anything or anyone. He added, It is very important to see now who our real friend and partner is and who will continue to scare the Russian Federation with words only. President Volodymyr Zelensky asked for clear and effective actions of support from Ukraine's international friends in a late-night televised address to the country. During an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield rejected Russian assertions that soldiers would be performing peacekeeping. She claimed recognizing Luhansk and Donetsk as autonomous was part of Russia's attempt to justify an invasion of Ukraine. Mr. Putin said Ukraine was an important part of his national past in an hour-long speech on Monday referring to eastern Ukraine as ancient Russian lands. He said, allowing a new bloodbath in the Donbas is something we do not intend to do. Vasily Nebenzia, Russia's UN ambassador, urged for the necessity to safeguard rebel-held territories in eastern Ukraine's Donbas region against what he called Ukrainian brutality. For the last eight years, Russia has backed a brutal armed revolt in eastern Ukraine, and since then, around 14,000 individuals have died in battle, many of them were civilians. Russian passports have been issued to a huge number of people in Donetsk and Luhansk in recent years. Since late last week, women, children, and the elderly have been evacuated to Russia from rebel-held regions. Well. Would like to know your thoughts and responses. Share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.